My parents <laughs> said no. So I went to Sango Academy in, in Homer Bay, yeah. where I did my class 8. You know Homer Bay is actually my shagging. Yeah, yeah, I know that. So, <laughs> Sango Academy, I did my class 8, yeah. and then I went to Maseno School. Uh -huh. Maseno School, Moi, yeah. Moi, Nairobi. Interesting. Yeah. You, why did you train to be a lawyer? And Interestingly, I was, I was um, admitted for education mm -hmm. at Nairobi University. Mm -hmm. I just got above average grade. Just mm -hmm. a little more happy to me. Maybe I'm, I'm very average. Uh, just, yeah, <laughs> so I, I was invited for education, yeah. but it wasn't my cup of tea. Yeah. So I tried applying for other things, ICT and couldn't. And uh, I wanted really to do law. Mm -hmm. So I tried within the job, joint admission board yeah. to get to do something apart from education, but mm -hmm. they couldn't. Mm -hmm. So I tried to change to law. Mm -hmm. They wanted um, a higher score mm -hmm. because that time it was very competitive. Yeah. So I ended up applying to Moi mm -hmm. and then I did my I went to Moi so I mm -hmm. did my law in Moi. But it's basically I, I learned what I wanted to do mm -hmm. in uh, when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. That's when I decided um, what I want to do, I want to be a lawyer now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I decided in high school. But interesting enough, you started to become a lawyer but you never went ahead and to be admitted to the bar. Why yeah. is that? Because I, I, I tried the Kenyan School of Law. Mm -hmm. I have a long history. My dad fell sick in 2006. Uh -huh. When I was, I think I'm, I was going to third year. Mm -hmm. uh, because I cleared 2007, yeah, mm -hmm. 2006. Mm -hmm. So when he became sick, my mm -hmm. mom was strange. She was mm -hmm. just a principal of a mm -hmm. high school. I had three siblings in the UK. Yeah. My mom is here alone with us. Then there's, there's a step below mm -hmm. me, another boy. Mm -hmm. Then there are twins. Mm -hmm. So he was, she was training, mm -hmm. training to take care of my dad's medical needs, mm -hmm. her own needs and other siblings plus the ones in the UK. Mm -hmm. So uh, I came to Nairobi after, just after school, not after mm -hmm. graduating. Mm -hmm. So when I, I landed here, I needed to find something to do. Yeah. Yes. And I went to Kenya School of Law, mm -hmm. um, studied classes. Yeah. And then I was looking for somewhere to do my pupillage. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so, so that's that the, the reason, reason why. And I couldn't go back and ask my mom for money mm -hmm. to pay for Kenya School of Law. Mm -hmm. That time it was cheap. It was about 100,000. Now yeah. it goes to close yeah, to half a million. Expensive, yeah. yeah, but that time it was very cheap. Yeah. But because of that, I couldn't go to Kenya School of Law. Not because my mom wouldn't have paid for me, but in my own mm -hmm. thinking, she was already straining too much. After college, there was no way I was uh, going to ask her for yeah. money. And I'm glad from that day I've never asked her for a cent. Interesting. One of the interesting uh, entrepreneurial activities that you started off and I was just trying to research on you was that you were at one point a taxi driver. Yes. Now when I was looking for something to do, yeah. that's how I ended up. Now before taxi driver, there's a story. Mm -hmm. I Take attempted to do yeah. forex trading. Mm -hmm. So I did, uh, it's a funny story uh -huh. now that you know business. Yes. It's a funny story. So one time I'm walking in town mm -hmm. and there was a forex bureau, yes. blew something forex on, on Kimathi Street. Yes. And then there's one, Apo Karibuna Capital FM. Mm -hmm. There was one just adjacent. Yeah, then yeah. at Stanley there was another one. Mm -hmm. Then opposite Kimathi House, there was another one. Yeah, it's still so there. So yeah. you know you walk and then you see the variation. You see uh, shilling, buying and selling. Yes. This is something people, you wouldn't think about it. Yeah. So you see buying at 90 shillings, mm -hmm. selling at 94. Yes. So in my mind, after working several bureau, uh, forex bureaus, I would see the variation. There's a place is 93, mm -hmm. there's a place is 95, um, there's a place, it could be lower, but I'm just yeah. giving you as an example. So in my mind, mm -hmm. if buying is 90 yeah. and selling is 94, mm -hmm. I can buy at 90 and sell at 94. Uh... You see the thinking? <laughs> it was a stupid thing. Oh my it was goodness, a stupid yeah. thing. Uh -huh. Because buying means I'm buying from you. Yes. So I have dollars. Yes. So you want to take my dollars at 90. Yes. But when I come for yours, you. you're selling at 94. Yes. So I didn't think of that. So at one point, I have 270,000. This yes. business I used to do uh -huh. in Moy. Yeah. And uh, I lose money. Mm -hmm. I lose money. So when I lost money... So you use the whole amount? Yes, to buy. But you know you're going to lose. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're not even Googled. My friend, I was from the village. So, so you've mentioned money. that you'd gotten 270,000 yes. and you're literally grown up. What were you doing in uh, yeah, that yes. So my siblings used to be in the UK mm -hmm. during that time when I was in campus. They were mm -hmm. also in campus. Yes. So that was the advent of laptops. Mm -hmm. You remember Deltek, he was the yeah. biggest trader of lab hardware mm -hmm. in Nairobi. Yeah. So Eldoret at Moi, mm -hmm. it had not taken root. Mm -hmm. So my siblings were in mm -hmm. the UK, mm -hmm. advent of flash disks. Yeah earphones, mm -hmm. wireless, kiango, yes. you know, all those yeah, things. Yeah. So uh, they used to send them over. Mm -hmm. And because I was in Eldoret and 
it had not taken root. Mm -hmm. One laptop I would sell for two hundred and forty thousand mm -hmm. shillings. Mm -hmm. A laptop that they bought for eighty. So oh, two hundred and forty. Yes, because in Eldoret, ah, my brother's runners had money. Oh, just the runners. Yes, yeah, students. No, 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 no students. Ah, I was ah, students. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, then I had a video shop. Uh -huh. More university. The guys we used to stay with Kahoya can tell you uh -huh. had a whole video shop like movies. Oh, you had set it up? Yeah, I would come to Nairobi, take from my uncle, then uh -huh. uh, photocopy them, you know, to burn them. Uh -huh. Then I go. So I made some really good money. Mm -hmm. And then I went and rented a house mm -hmm. in Eldoret, mm -hmm. a four bedroom house mm -hmm. that cost me around 5,500. Wow. My four bedroom, 55, I thought yeah, 50,000. No, no, at that time, 55. Yes, Uko Kahoya. There's a place called uh -huh. Kahoya. Uh -huh. So I only needed one room. Mm -hmm. So I took my room and subleased the three others mm -hmm. to my friends. So, to so they used to pay. I used to charge them. I think two thousand, everyone. So I used to make more money, living uh, in that house. So I, I made quite some money. By the time I was coming to Nairobi, yeah. I had money from yeah. sales of this software. Yeah. I mean, hardwares and all that. Uh, and then I used to have a video shop also in Eldoret. Then I used to be a landlord. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm 